the rechargeable DMX Digital Doppler comes with a quick reference guide and instructions for use CD. The Doppler unit Charger Gel USB cable and rechargeable batteries are enclosed in the carry case. The rechargeable version also includes the different adapters to suit your local power outlets. With the Doppler lying face down on a flat surface, use a small tool to unclip the battery case. You will see a helpful illustration on the inside of the case, showing the correct positioning for the batteries. When inserting the batteries, make sure that the black strip is placed underneath and reclip the battery cover. Connect the charger to its appropriate adapter. Slide it into place until it is securely connected. Take the USB cable and connect it to the charger using the standard USB port. Take the opposite end of the cable and connect this to the micro USB at the top of the Doppler unit. Align the connector to the bottom of the probe and rotate until you feel the key system connect. Push the connector into the probe. Turn on the product by pressing the left hand button for one second. If a probe is connected, you will quickly see the probe recognition screen. If a probe symbol with a question mark appears, then an old probe has been connected. Note that HS probes will not work with the DMX Dopplers. Enter the setup screen by pressing the right button for 3 seconds. With the brightness symbol highlighted, press the middle button. Use the left and right buttons to increase or decrease the screen brightness. Press the green tick to accept. To set the time and date of the unit, enter the setup screen by pressing the right hand button for 3 seconds. Scroll to the clock symbol and click the centre button to enter. Press the centre button to move through the time and date where correct. If the time does need changing, then press either the left or right buttons to select your desired time. Once the time and date are correct, press the centre button to go back to the previous screen. Enter the setup screen by pressing the right button for 3 seconds. 
Press the left button until the battery symbol is highlighted. Then press the middle button to select. If you have a non-rechargeable product, move the selection box to the left and press tick. This will disable the charging capability. If you want to select the charging capability, highlight the battery symbol with a tick and press accept. With the pin lock icon highlighted, press the middle button. Use the left and right buttons to select the desired numbers. In this case, we will select four zeros. If the pin is to be accepted, press the green tick. If you do not want to create a PIN code, press the red cross. Creating a code locks the saved database on the unit. To unlock the database, enter the correct PIN code and press the green tick. Enter the setup screen by pressing the right button for 3 seconds. Press the left button until the heart symbol is highlighted. Then press the middle button to select. Here you can see that the heart rate can be enabled or disabled. Move the box over the heart with the cross symbol and press the middle button. This will disable the heart rate display. To re-enable, press the middle button and select the heart with a tick. Enter the setup screen by pressing the right button for 3 seconds. Press the left button until the noise symbol is highlighted. Then press the middle button to select. This can be disabled by selecting the symbol with the cross. Press the green tick to accept. If you wish to re-enable, then move across to the symbol with a tick and press the middle button to accept. With the Doppler unit turned on, place some gel over the vessel of interest. Then place the probe at 45 degrees to the skin. Move it slowly across the vessel trying to get the loudest possible sound. You will now be able to see the waveform being produced from the Doppler sounds. Once a waveform has been found, press the stop button. If you are happy with this waveform, press the left button twice as shown. This saves the waveform to the memory card. To run real time again, press the red cross twice. To replay recorded traces from the memory card, press the File menu key and then button 2. This opens the folder. Now you can see a list of previously stored waveforms in a date and time format. To replay any of these, press the down button arrow.
and then press green tick. Then the waveform and sound will play. To play again, press button 1. If you wish to delete a waveform, press the middle button and the dustbin icon will show on the screen. Then press green tick and the waveform will be deleted.